Welcome back, unicorns, to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing how I edit my video. How I edit my videos on my YouTube channel. So, if you like this type of video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below. Now, let's get started. So, the first thing that really helps me out with my videos is I like stopping the camera. Like, if I know, like, let's say the intro, and I'll stop the camera, and I'll start film it again because when I film I don't want to do one long video I'd rather do short videos to edit them because of how that's easier way for me to edit okay so the app I use is filmmaker pro as you can see whatever size on the watermark so yeah that's a, it's a really easy app if you want to know like details because I'm not gonna do it in this video like how to use it you can just look up tutorials or there's like I think there's a tutorial when you download the app telling you how to do it so just check that out so I'm gonna tell you how I um, like what I do when I first get done with my videos so when I get done with my video I import one video at a time so when I go in there on the app the first thing I do is put it in the landscape because that's the um, that's the size of the thing I do is landscape and then I start it and then when it, it will go to a blank screen and the I think it's the right side has a little button to download the videos on and it's going to tell you before you get to the video like what size you want and stuff like that and um, so after I do the first video, I play the video and I start editing and when you click the video little, um, frame by frame thing, it's going to send you, um, give you info of, um, like if you want to split it or trim it or speed it up, slow it down and then it will tell you, um, what I usually do on the first video is I trim it sometimes if the video, if the ending I don't like or something like that. Or I split it. So, like, let's say if I want to split the video, like, like between topics or something like that, then I split it and then there's going to be a transition in the middle of those two videos. So, what's easier for me when I edit, let's say if I'm doing an unboxing. I split it between each item that I unbox so that there's a transition in the middle of those. And you can pick any transition on there. It's like slide up, slide down, left, right, and horizontal, vertical, vertical, vertical can we talk? And I think it's fade in, fade out. I think that's are all the options. And how you get that is when you after you split a video. There's a little box, after you press check, there's a little box in between the item that you um, skip or split. So you click that box and it's going to put up all the options of your transition, transition, whatever that word is. Yeah. So you just click whatever one you want. And I'm going this off mine, so if I'm missing anything, you'll see it on the app. So the next thing I do after I do one video is I add another one. I do it. That's easier for me is when I stop because I stop most of the time because like a noise in the background or somebody walks by or like something happens like that. So that's what I do. So it's easier for me when I edit, like I said. So after I edit all my video, I do the intro and outro. And my next video will be, um, my next video upload will be how I do my thumbnails and my intro and outro. So if you stay tuned, click the bell icon so you can be notified when I upload that video. Just in case you want to learn how I um, do my thumbnails and all that. But after I do my, I um, insert my intro and outro at the beginning and end of my video. And you can do that by clicking the same icon that you click to put your video in. You can do a um, photo too. 
a cool thing about the app is you can do a photo inside your video and that's like I think the third one down from the right can't I think it's the third one or the second one down and you can put a photo of inside your video if you saw my makeup video I saw that when I showed the inspiration picture so you can do that as well and I think that's it of the editing part then after I edit all the video and I think I'm done with it I go to my computer and I go to YouTube because YouTube has auto music for you so you can download it without getting copyrighted so I just pick up music from that list and then email it to myself after I download it to my laptop and then I go back to my phone because as if you if you don't know I edit everything on my phone and I film on my phone so yeah so after I uh, get the email on my phone I download it to my phone and then I download it to Filmmaker Pro and then the icon to put the music in is a little music note and I think it's the third one option down where it says import music because you can do other things like a voiceover, import it from iTunes, or just import music in general. So you just click that and you'll add music. And after you add the music, um, it's going to have a box below the film or the video. It's like a box that has a music note in it. And you want to click that. And make sure before you add your music, you have it placed at where you want to add it. So like at the beginning or end or whatever. So you know when you click check on the music after you download it, it's in the right spot. Or you can move it. You can move the um, music after we position it. So after you click the music um, box, it's going to give you some options. What I do... What I do for my options is I fade it in and fade it out, and then I go to the volume button and do it the second from the lowest because I have a low voice, so I don't want really the music to be higher than my voice. So I go all the way from the lowest number, the second one. Sorry about the background noise, my puppy's in here, like always. In. So I think that's all I do for music. And you can split the music, trim the music, all that stuff. You'll see it on the app. And I'm playing the video again. Um, so after the music, I think I am done with the whole video. So I play, I mean, I watch it one more time through to see if the music's alright, if you can hear me, and all that stuff. And... I th and when I think I'm good, I export it to my phone. And another thing you can do, I think, oh, you can add text to it and all that stuff. There's a text app. I think it's right above the music app. I mean, music icon, sorry. So you can add text to your videos too if you would like. When I think I'm done and I watched all the way through, then I export it to my phone and you can do it through YouTube through the app but I do it export it through my phone and then download it to or upload it to YouTube that's what I do so after you export it then you're done so that's it that's how I edit my videos if you have any more questions or if I didn't like you didn't understand something I said just leave a comment down below and give this video a like if you like this type of video don't forget to subscribe to join the unicorn family and hit the bell icon to be notified when i upload the video about how i do my thumbnails and unicorns always be yourself bye